great weekend. Shannon had a great weekend. I, I just don't know about your weekend. How are you guys doing? What, what is that for? No, I don't, I don't, don't do this yet. <laughs> don't do this to me today. Let me have my well, well, my I, man. What, what, what is it for? Wait, are, are we talking about LeBron James or are we talking about who, Aaron Rodgers or who are we talking about? <laughs> we talk about everybody. Maybe, maybe it's in honor of Tom Brady. That's what we're doing. The GOAT, the real GOAT, not the phony GOAT. Hello, did Tampa resign Jameis? Because huh. I could have sworn that was Jameis Winston huh. throwing picks left and right. Was was that for oh. wait, was that for the LeBron James that I watched play seven minutes of the fourth quarter on what was that Saturday night? Mm -hmm in a 30-point blowout, trying to stuff the stat sheet, trying to get to a triple-double that I predicted and he fell short of? That LeBron James? Well, the maybe, phony go? Maybe Kawhi should play oh. 40 minutes in the second half oh. and stop blowing these big leagues. All I got we'll to him. We'll All get I gotta say is, how about that referee last night in the Cowboy skill. game? How Don't about do that, that referee? Don't do that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Referee. It's really going to be about that. All right, all right. Uh, okay, I'm going to break down yeah. exactly what happened with the Cowboys loss. Guys, we got a packed show. Here's what happened. The Cowboys missed on some late opportunities to tie up the game against the Rams last night. Trailing 20-17 to 17 with over 11 minutes left, Dallas failed on a 4-3 attempt from the 11 instead of electing to pick a field goal. The Cowboys almost Put it close enough for a game time field goal attempt with less than a minute left, but a 47 yard completion to Michael Gallup was called back due to offensive pass interference. Mike McCarthy said he was surprised there was a call either way after the game, and the officials stood by the call, calling it, quote, clear and obvious on the field. <laughs> Shannon, no laughing right now. Did this cost the Cowboys the game? No, no. Normally, when you look at a ball game, before I go to Skip, they can go ahead if he stays for the rest of the season. Alden Smith is going to be comeback player of the year. Cam, Ben Roethlisberger, let it go. It's over. Mm. A guy that bees be away, away five years mm -hmm. and playing like he's playing, and he's only going to get better, mm -hmm. so that's going to be comeback player of the year. Mm. Skip, it was a foul. You cannot extend the arm back. And Jalen Ramsey did a great job of selling the call. You know, Skip, he put his hands up in there. He's like, oh, man, he... he so, but he showed he extended his arm. But over the course of a ball game, Skip, calls uh, uh, average out. I just want to know one thing. Did Alden Smith hit Jared Goff in the head when he threw the interception? It's not a go back and forth, yada, yada, yada. It's a simple yes or a simple no. You can answer. Mm -hmm. Is it my turn to go No, now? no, no. Skip, just answer oh, the question. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, over the course of the game... It what time was that? I got a simple question. I got a simple question for you. What time in the game was that? It doesn't matter. Well, I'm asking a simple question. Just give me a simple answer. It was in the second half. It was late in the third quarter. It was Still, in the... wasn't even in the fourth quarter. Go ahead. Thank but, you. But it happened. Case closed. It next, happened. Next question. Okay. Yep. There are a few things that go... Can, you can look at the stat sheet, and without watching the game, you look at it, and you says, okay, were there any turnovers? Did the team that lost, did they have any turnovers? Because if you turn the ball over, you tend to lose, especially if you turn it over more than once. Nope, Dallas had no turnovers. Okay, you go and you look at T.O.P., time of possession. Only 25 minutes. Now, the greatest indicator, Skip, what were you on third down? Your third down efficiency. And, Skip, what were Dallas on third down? Three of 12. Okay, 33%. Yep. You plan on winning very many games nope. with 33%? Can't. Okay, so there you yep. go. Yep, agreed. And, and, and that's what happened, Skip. I thought Zeke ran the ball. Zeke looked like Zeke of old. He was running hard. Uh, we did a great job of catching the ball out of the backfield. Your offensive line going to be a problem. You're right, Tiger. You need to get that addressed. But, Skip, look, over the course of a ball game, calls will, 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 will even out. They missed the call. I believe they got the call right. You can't say in a moment like that because there are a lot of times you say in a moment like that, the game is on the line, line, you let the players decide it. Well, he did. Michael Gallup decided to extend his arm to get separation from Jalen Ramsey and the official threw the flag. It's as simple as that. So it wasn't no official costing the game because if you watch the if the Cowboys are what you say they are, mm. they should not even have been in this position mm. with all that talent. Mm. Man, I just had a – Jen, I ran out of food because I was serving up a smorgas a, a buffet style of L. Cowboys came by. Mm. The Bucks came by. Mm. The Clippers came by. Mm. The Dolphins came by. Mm. So I'm out of food, Skip. Mm. <laughs> 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 I got to make up for all that, lost, all that lost revenue I had during quarantine.
but y'all gonna put me back in business. You would have a restaurant <laughs> that serves only losses because that's all you ever take on this show. So you're used to losses. What about I do? You take do them I, here, you serve them there. Do I get my due? Yeah. Do I get my due? That's another topic for this next topic. Yeah, I'm down to 42 cases up on you now. My turn. I will give you this much. My team did not play well enough on either side of the ball to deserve to win that game, to be in position to win that game. Okay. Especially in the second half, my offense didn't play remotely well enough, nor did my quarterback play remotely well enough to be in position to win that game. But with 20 seconds to go, my quarterback made one great throw. And Michael Gallup made one great break on a really good corner who is now the top paid corner in all of professional football, yep. Jalen Ramsey. He and he got a big step on him. And the throw was right on time and right on the money. Jalen Ramsey was beaten. And all they did was do your normal, predictable hand fighting. There was no clear-cut extension of Michael Gallup's right arm. He did not shove him back. But to Jalen Ramsey's credit, knowing he was beaten because he was smoked and he was going to be embarrassed on national Sunday night television on NBC, he sold it. He whiplashed his head back like he was in a car wreck. And right. he got away with it because the referee bought it. I don't know why. Maybe because he's looking. It's Jalen Ramsey. He can't be beaten that bad. He's the top paid corner in football. I got to throw some yellow because he, sh he told me to throw yellow. Good and time. I subliminally reacted to throw yellow. There's nothing wrong with what either player was doing. They're doing what you can see on every other pa deep pass play in the National Football League. It's called hand fighting. There's no push off. There's no full extension. You are beaten. In fact, Michael Gallup didn't even need to hand fight with him because he had him by one big long stride. Right. And you cannot make that call at any time in the game, but especially if you're going to decide the game because he caught it clean. We didn't have some Green Bay situation. Was it a catch or not a catch, Des? Catch. Des caught it in Green Bay. Michael Gallup no, clearly no, he caught it there. <laughs> he did. And the point is that he went to the ground cleanly with the football. And when I saw a yellow flag fly across the picture, I thought, surely it has to be something completely off the ball. Nope. Surely maybe CeeDee Lamb was being held in the middle of the field and they, the Dallas <laughs> Cowboys would just decline the penalty. But no, wait a second. It's on that play? Yes. Um, th you're kidding me. No. Because at the very worst, that would almost certainly give you overtime because you got the Rams kicker of old. You got Greg the Leg Zerline. By the way, Greg the Leg had sort of christened himself as a cowboy. The way most cowboy kickers do, he had missed a 53-yard field goal that for him is like an extra point. Yeah. With the leg that he's got, and he missed it way wide right. And the point is, your point about, okay, did Alden Smith rake his hand across Jared Goff's face, face, whatever it is, shield, I guess he had on? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Should that have been an interception? No, it should not have okay. been. The Cowboys cashed in with a field goal okay. off that. Yeah. But they had missed a field goal earlier from 53 chip shot yards away. Right. And the point is, those things canceled themselves out. But in the end, is, is, it, is it fair to say that a, a bogus referee flag cost the Cowboys a chance to at least get to overtime. I don't know. Maybe they would have scored. They had 20 seconds left. Really? Who knows? They might have scored. But but, but where, where are you going to hold Mike McCarthy culpable for going for it on fourth down okay. and not well, taking the field okay, that's, goal? That's a whole other issue if you want to get into that. But I think you just agreed with me. No. It, it should not have been a no, flag. No, I did not, I did not agree yes. with you. I told you from the beginning oh. it was a flag. He extended. I didn't agree with you. Well, I think everybody's agreeing with me, so you lose on that. It don't matter who that is. And your, your, your five followers on Twitter, those are the ones that uh, agree with you? Three million and five. Oh, oh, those, those, okay. Skip. Oh, How many wanna... do you have? I, Four. I ain't got, I ain't got but like a okay. meal. But okay. I hate to you this, Skip. You took the L. The okay. guy extended when he didn't have to. You All said right. he didn't have to do it. Okay, back to, let's go back to 11.46 left in the game. Okay. That's, there's still a whole lot of ball okay. game left. And the Cowboys have it third and six down at the what it fourteen yard line. Correct. And they are on a roll. They yes. are starting to cook. They finally found some rhythm on offense. Okay. 
And C.D. Lamb had just run back a punt for 20 yards that just brought the sideline up alive. Really? And yeah. Mike McCarthy is going with the flow, going with the momentum. I have no problem with going for it on fourth down, but I have a huge problem with the play that got called on third down. Here we go again. It was Minnesota last year on Sunday night all over again. Dak's starting to warm up. You have three potential 1,000-yard receivers out, split out. You, you got Zeke, who's caught three for 31 and one for a touchdown. And all of a sudden, you, you run like a, a draw action play to Zeke, trying to fool him, trying to trick him right. that maybe he can hit up into right. uh, uh, an a creep, emptier yeah. box and maybe he can find something that will gash them for seven yards. He got three, predictably, and all of a sudden you're stuck. And now it's fourth and three. And I think they had already decided we're going to go, go. We're going to run this play and that play. Skip, I, I tweeted it. Okay. I tweeted that was a that was a I'm going for it on fourth down what, call. What, whatever. They had already planned to do yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay. So they run shallow crosses. Yes. Everybody cutting across. Yes. And a rookie playing in his first game is going to be, I think he was primary on this play. I'm not sure about it, but it looked like he was supposed to, there's supposed to be a pick play run right. for him. And by the way, I lost my tight end last night, Blake Jarwin. I used to call him Shannon Jarwin last yeah. night because I thought he was going to have a big breakout year. I'm not saying he'd be a pro bowler. I thought he was going to become a force in this attack. He knows how to run those pick plays better than Dalton Schultz does right. his backup. And Blake Jarwin is now probably gone for the season with an ACL rupture on a play that was just weird where it was not. Yeah, like, yeah, he just planted it. He just planted and it went. Yeah. It just exploded. It's almost like an Achilles injury. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now C.D. Lamb, my guy, runs a shallow cross. And the, the, the point of this play is you don't have to run your shallow cross three yards deep. for You're going to run for the first right. down because he is the best run-after-catch receiver that they have. Mm -hmm. And the throw from Dak was – a touch low and a touch late. Mm -hmm. And that kid, Jordan Fuller, who's a six-round pick from the Ohio State, who was first-team all Big Ten safety last year, mm -hmm. he breaks on the he ball like, like a madman, like a demon, and just nailed. CD had to slow just a touch, and he wasn't ready, and he just gets nailed from behind. And I say, advantage Rams. I say, that was just a great defensive tackle. He did a great job, Skip, because he didn't get caught up in the wash. He, he gave himself enough room to stand back to see it play out. And once he saw him on the shell, he knows he's going. Once he takes off inside, he knows shallow cross. So he drives on the ball. So the only thing that Shades could have done is keep pushing up, keep fighting to make him bubble even more. You want the guy that. to bubble even more. Yep. But once he didn't make him bubble, he was dead to right. He, 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 was, he was dead. He just nailed him. He did. And CD didn't even see him coming. No. And he wrapped him so hard, so low around the, the, the knees, you know, right. where, where you're just you're right. dead to rights. right. And you can argue, well, that's ball game, except there were still 11 minutes and 46 right. seconds left. So here's my problem with my team. Here we go again. Last year, my team was one and seven in one score games. Yes. Some of them were a little bit misleading because they would rally <laughs> furiously and yeah. get it back to a one score game, exactly. but they didn't really have a chance. But you know, and I know what happened at New Orleans last year. Remember 12 to 10? Yep. Remember what happened at the Jets, 24 to 22? Uh, I, told, I just brought up the Minnesota game, 28 24, when they went from Dak to giving it to Zeke, Zeke, Zeke. And New England was 13 to 9. And I won't, I'm gonna throw out the Chicago one. It was 31-24, but they were way behind. But Philly was 17 to 9. Right. My point is, here we go again, one and seven last year, and, and this is your this is your opportunity right. to go win your opener. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Dak was 15 of 18 in the first half for 187 yards. That's that, right. that's hot, man. Mm -hmm. And at halftime, I was tweeting like, this is such a joy to watch goes, Amari, Gallup, CD, CD, Amari, Gallup, and, it, and, and Zeke, and Zeke, and it looks like, uh-oh, here, yeah. here we go again. This looks like this could be the most explosive offense in football. In the second half, Dak Prescott went 10 of 21 for a grand total of 79 yards. And to your point, in the second half, they went one for eight on third down. How are you going to win a road game when your quarterback throws for 79 and you go one for eight on third down? I thought they should have run the ball more, Skip. They were 27 for a buck 36. They were averaging five yards a clip. Uh, uh, what was it? Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard was doing a great job of running the ball. Even he, catching he used it. to be Mike Pollard, yeah, but now he's Tony. <laughs> he won that, your respect enough he, to become Tony. Even Dak was getting out of harm's way. He was. Getting, get, uh, uh, getting first down, Skip. 
But I think the thing with the Cowboys wanted to do, the Cowboys wanted to show, because the problem that you had with, with Jason is that you didn't feel he was aggressive enough. And he didn't take the chances that you're certain sometimes your team, you got to show you have confidence in your team by going for it. Mike McCarthy right. tried to show that I have confidence in my team. Especially, I'm, and he's, he's a momentum guy. Right. He, what's his favorite word? It's all about tempo. Right. Well, right. they got their tempo up hot. Right. Where it's starting to click. The RPM has risen. And he's like, okay, let's go two plays and see if we can get six yards in two plays. And right. we'll call them. We'll have them ready to go. Right. Boom, boom. Let's go tempo right, right. back to the line of scrimmage mm -hmm. for fourth down. And they still didn't get quite quickly back to the, to the line of scrimmage because they let the Rams sub. Give the Cowboys credit defensively because the Rams were there to blown this up. They settled for field goals. Got Mr. PAT. Okay, that's it. But the Rams were dealing. The Rams were going really skip up and down the field. And then the Cowboys would bow their backs and keep them out of the end zone and make them settle for field goals. So their defense gave them an opportunity, gave Dak and his offense an opportunity to get on track and get back up. Because think about it, Skip. At, at, at the what? It was 14-13. The Cowboys were up going into halftime after as poorly as they had played the first half because the Cowboys' defense had done a great job of keeping the Rams' offense out of the football field. But, Skip, there's a guy that plays for the other team. And you say, well, when I watch him, I don't ever see him pop. He never jumps off the TV. Guess what? In five games against my team, he finally got his first sack. <laughs> and it was a coverage sack in which Dak couldn't find anybody, and he waited and he waited, and finally Aaron Donald got loose and sacked him. Way to go. Can we, can we run a little bit of that tape? I want, I want to show Skip, the, the guy that Skip said that, yeah. you know, he, he don't pop for me. Watch this, Skip. Look at this. Look at this, Skip. Now, yeah. that's why he doesn't pop. Because you're going to – oh, that's an all-pro. That guy at number 70 is going to the Hall of Fame, and he just went through it. That's what you call a classic coverage Look at sack. This. Look at that guy coverage right there. Sack. Look at this. Look He's at this. Blocked. That's Zeke Skip. Yep. Zeke Elliott is 225 pounds, and he made him look like a five-pound bag of flour. I hope he could do that to any running back that he gets loose on. Skip. I would hope Skip. so. Hold if on. he's the best player – you tell me he's the best player in all of football. Skip. No, I said, Best player I said, in all of football? First of all, did, did, you, did, did you see him on that short, that third and short, where, where he got knocked backwards and spun Skip. completely around? Hold on, Skip. Did Lord you, have did, mercy. Did you not see him beat the ooh, guard first? Ooh. Well, if you got to beat a guard and then you got a running back to chip you mm -hmm. and he still gets a hit on the quarterback, mm -hmm. that guy is special. But that yeah, was... I, I, I want to remind you, that was his first sack in five games against my Cowboys. And in the first four... I went the whole game and, and ended it with saying, wait a second, did he even play tonight? Was he hurt? And I had to look up his participation. Oh, he played every snap. And I, don't, he, I didn't notice him. But, Skip, you have, but hold on. If I'm not mistaken, his team has won more games than they've lost to your team. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 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 But that's the point. You, you look for – are you saying he's Reggie White? Are you saying he's LT or Charles Haley? Skip. I just don't see it. We'll, 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 Again, I think he's a top, I'll give you top 20 player, but he's not the best player in pro football. What are you talking about? He doesn't play quarterback. Yeah. Okay. And some of the guys that play quarterbacks don't play that position well. Do they play quarterback as well as he played DT? That's not the point. He can only do so much as a DT. But guess what? You play quarterback and you can't win games. You can only do so much. And by the way, my center, my Pro Bowl, perennial Pro Bowl center, has retired, been forced okay. to retire. Yeah, but you, but you so, knew that going into the season that he was retired. So I, I got Joe Looney, my backup center, at center. Okay. And last night, I had somebody named Terrence Steele, an undrafted rookie free agent out of Texas Tech, starting and finishing at right tackle. He played every snap last night, played 72 snaps at right tackle, and by, because Lyle Collins obviously on IR. Right. But I, I actually thought Terrence Steele fought his tail off and kind of hung in okay. Yeah. I mean, their protection was, huh? He gave up a late sack. He gave, up a, he gave sack. up a late sack. But in general, I thought he was decent, given that he was an undrafted street free agent. Really? I'll take that. Yeah. You keep talking about Aaron Donald. You got a guy on the other side that's making $21 million a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, where was he? I don't know, because to your point, I kept telling you, I believe in Jay Glazer's assessment of Alden Smith and that five years out of football, I believe he's going to come back and be a monster, and he just about took the game over. He did. He just about he did. He did. Well, th that bodes well. That, that gives me some hope going forward. And by the way, young Trevon Diggs in the secondary last night, Stefan's little brother out mm -hmm. of Alabama, mm -hmm. 
I got to tell you, he was all over the field, and it gave me heart and hope because he's a ball hawk playmaker. Mm -hmm. He was always around the football. He almost came down with one tipped interception. And I'm not saying he's going to be defensive player of the year, but he looked like a player to me. Yeah. So I got two things going for me there on defense. And yet, what did I tell you all last week? Earl Thomas, what, why didn't you sign him? Again, my safeties are just guys. They're, they're nice guys. Yeah. They, they try hard. Yeah. But Earl Tom, I don't care how much trouble he caused in Baltimore or Seattle. He, he's a difference maker. He but, made the Pro Bowl but, last but, year. But, how, but, Skip, if you bring something in, I don't care how cute and cuddly it is, if it's going to destroy your house, why would you want it in there? Why? Maybe he can help build your house before he destroys but he, it. But, but Maybe on. he'll have one year of building your house where he's on his better, not best behavior, but better behavior because he grew up a Cowboy fan in South Texas and went to the University of Texas so, and always wanted to play for this team. Maybe he'd be on better behavior. Skip. Is he better than what they have? They got two decent young kids. It's, they're young men at safety, but they're... They're not this guy. This guy still made the Pro Bowl last he did. year on a team that went 14 and 2. Yes. Come yes. on. And Skip, they wanted him out. They Why? did. They wanted him out. Seattle wanted him out. I give you that. But but you want him in your young locker room? Yeah, because he would scare you if he were in my locker room. <laughs> well, you know he would. He would scare, he would be scare, like, uh, he, would scare, he would scare Jerry. Yeah. But Skip, at the end of the day, you can't put this on that call. You had opportunities. If the three of 12, it's the one of the... Skip, we didn't even bring up fourth down. You're one of three on fourth down. Mm -hmm. And you only had the ball for 24 and a half minutes. Yep. So who do you expect to beat having the ball 24 and a half minutes, going three of 12 on third down, one of three on fourth downs, the with no the Rams, play? The Rams ran for 153 yards. That's why that time of possession is 36 to 24. Skip, you guys ran for a buck 36? Okay, but not as not what the Rams did. Well, when you well, here's the thing: when you have the ball, if you stop throwing it on every down and mm. stop thinking you run it, you got Pat Mahomes. Mm. Well, my Pat Mahomes threw for 79 yards in the second half. It, it's not good enough. Well, well, oh! But it should have been one 45-yard bomb to Michael Gallup overtime at at the worst. He extended, he extended the arm. He did not extend yes, he the did. arm. Skip, it's you just, saw it. It's just hand fighting. What There's did, no extension. What did, what did Tony Corrente say? What did he say? What do you expect him to nah, say? Nah, nah, we nah, blew nah, it? No, no, no. He said it was clear and obvious. Boy, I miss those pass interference reviews that you get to those oh, challenges. What? Because I would have won that one. You were going to win that one. They overturned out of yeah. like 50. They overturned yeah. like five. I got it. But I would have won that one because it was a game decider. You know it and I know it. So there was one metallic silver lining to what happened last night. What happened? It happened earlier in the day. Your Eagles, with your quarterback, Carson, W-I-N-C-E, -E, wince. About him. I we wince talk, when we, I watch him play. Him. We talk about They're up game. 17 to nothing in the first half, and Carson Wentz proceeds to throw an interception, lose a fumble, and throw another interception, and they lose 27 to 17. They get outscored in the second half 20 to nothing at Washington and let Dwayne Haskins beat them. And I, I look at the stats, and I still don't know how they did it, but they, they did it. And guess what? Eagles and the Cowboys are in the exact same spot. Except that your quarterback had a QBR of 14 on a scale of 0 to 100. Mine had 73, which is pretty good. Actually, so, your quarterback had a 69, but that's neither here nor there. No, I, you had a, he I, had a, I got, he got 73. Okay, I, I, you know what, Skip? For you, because it's your day, and they were in, uh, broke in a new stadium, I'm going to give him a 90. But mm. you got an L. Mm. He got a 90 QBR and called an L. Which L hurt the worst? Dallas's or Philadelphia's? They hurt the same. I think in Philly right now, it is doom and gloom. I think in Dallas, well. And right now, Philly is saying, is Jalen Hurts the answer? Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a is little later. Is he the answer? But I tell you what, I don't hear all them Randy Moss comparisons. I don't hear mm -hmm. nothing about no CD Lamb. Oh, he looks so good. He's yeah. going to be the number one receiver. Yeah. He's better than Gallup. He's better than Amari. I, I, what happened? Did you see that punt return, 20 yards? It was he ignited. ignited them. Oh, so it, it, yeah. it, so if he going to be... And by the way, you were the only one who said he was Randy Moss. No. I didn't say that. No. You said that. C.D. Lamb changed fortune. Yeah. That's why Dak Prescott is an MVP mm -hmm. candidate. The Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl. I did not say that. I did Lamb. not say that. You're putting words in my mouth as <laughs> usual. <laughs> Sorry.
I'll tell you what I did put. Yep. I put an L in the, the other column. All I, know I put is, an L in that column. I, I feel much better about the Cowboys winning the NFC East now, and we have five cases on that. Thank you very much. Okay. Really? <laughs> Who would have thought, though, after uh, our first week, that Washington would be the one team in the NFC East huh? with that win? So that huh? is kind of interesting. So I don't even know the name. The football, the football team is in first about. place in the NFL. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.